Hello friend, you are watching ER Mac Coder channel and in this video we will learn these are the topic that is a very important concept because when we work in ReactJS so it's very important how can we connect our JavaScript principle and logic inside a JSX ex extension or a inside a component uh, or, fun or a functional based component or you can use a class based component but nowadays the react uh, organization or community also be recommended as a developer to make and uh, develop any application with functional component but not use a class with component so that is a very big change in a development from the react js community so how can we do this so these are the our point what our point to be uh, make understanding with uh, jsx format first one is how to pass a string with code like single quota you can use a multiple code so it's very important because all the time you have worked in any project to make all this uh, syntax most of the time we will use only a string and object in a particular when we discuss with javascript so that is a very important and third one is a array so how can we reference a javascript variable inside jsx how can we uh, work with inside curly braces with functional call of javascript and uh, javascript object inside jsx with curly braces so it's uh, all the topics very important for a beginner as well as uh, advanced so it's also important for the interview so make sure uh, you focus on this topic and make good understanding apart from that to discuss first one is how to pass a string with code so this is our app and uh, I have created some constant variable const user image equal to like that. That is a string, and to be make a pixel image. provide the free image to use as a develop for a development like that so i have done this copy image link that's it and take it on a console like that that is a good one and it's a uh, store as variable user name that is the string so i have used double quoted and second one is a on user equal to nature like that So how can we use these both of them? Let's enter to create heading tag S3. When we access this username, so it's not to be done because I have not used any uh, string variable. So that is a very important thing. 
that is a okay so i have used double quote inside double quote i have write the string and uh, this is string or xs when we work in a jsx it should be required the curly braces inside curly braces to enter your variable name and save it and check your console or sorry browser and it's work it it's nature and with nature you have created the image tag image that is self closing tag image is work it with self closing tag and that is a src attribute inside attribute first one i have written this image as a static way what the static way so it's used as a src and alert a l t like image like logo like that and save it and check your browser this is a working normal so what is our procedure our procedure is i have used this url as a string as a single quoted i have already used as a double quote inside a double quoted so it's same work that is the basic thing but you should know this that is okay nothing changes so that is a static way but how can we make a dynamic way so in dynamic way we will create a inside curly braces this variable or int and variable or execute and render in our browser and that is a work as a normal and how can we done this i have used second one and changes our first image path with dynamic i have not enter this image path in our src i have change our variable string and it totally up to you like that and save it and check here i it has changed so that is a basic thing but it's very important when we work it as a full application develop by you so this is very important and third one is how to call a javascript function inside a jsx extension that is a form of jsx and J, js and inside a, with html how can we work with function so apart from that to create a button like button on click that is the event on click is used as a camel case all the event or syntax are using with camel case first notation is in a small letter and second word start with capital letter that is called camel case letter so this is our alert function 
and this alert function have declared inside your app component upper to the return function and uh, const alert function and alert are using I have click it like that and save it and check on your browser. So here is a on click and when you click this button and seen as a I have clicked it. That is called a what? So that is called a JavaScript function are using inside JXL with curly braces. So what the meaning? Meaning is that when we create any event or any uh, operation or logic in your uh, with your HTML, so make sure to use JavaScript function inside a curly braces. So when I have clicked it on our button click and it's execute and render our uh, logic and here is uh, what is the alert function logic to create alert inside alert to display i have clicked it like this this is a string that is a inbuilt uh, window default keyword like alert and console and uh, confirm and many things are available. Confirm also available. You can use here as a confirm and remove this and save it and check it. On click and I have clicked it like this. So that is a basic thing but it's very important to make understanding and one more one, the more thing how to use javascript object inside a json can use javascript object like uh, to create a user detail i have created my detail my const my detail to inside a curly basis to make a key and value pair like that name Atul Tripathi and uh, Location Lucknow and uh, branch make like that and uh, access this detail in a comp uh, with components so create a one div more div and inside div to use 
as a parameter p calibrates that is a, my details dot my name and same is done with my branch and third one is that my location location that is a my detail so not the compulsory so save it and check on your browser so it's done atul tripathi make lucknow so that is not the meaningful so you have make some meaningful objective so it's done with name branch that is a static but this value is done with dynamic so save it and check on your browser so name is atul tripathi branch is make location lucknow so when you um, changes in your object so it already changes in your uh, component without changes in your component like created the username anurag Lucknow CS IT like that and save it. It change on your browser name Anurag branch CS IT location Lucknow. So these are the basic thing when you start your journey. So it's very common thing and it's always to compulsory know about dynamic dome manipulation that is called a uh, dynamic dome manipulation because when you work with large project so you cannot change particular thing in a, a going inside a hierarchy of the component you must should uh, start all the uh, functionality with dynamic approach that is a good thing for the developer point of view so when we looking as a uh, fresher so it's all the time to be uh, enter and create a component with large syntax so it's not the compul uh, continuous process of the good developer so we will done this with dynamic approach so definitely you are considered as a experienced developer so because when we uh, looking as a experienced developer so experienced developer always to create and make reusable component with dynamic approach with dynamic rendering that is a basic thing but we will discuss in further video so make sure i hope that you will enjoy this video and thank you to all my viewers